After more than a year of design and development, the much anticipated Universal Aero Kit is ready to turn its first wheels in preparation for 2018. Now, the design concepts were to make the racing more thrilling, to improve safety, and do all that with a leaner, more aggressive look. Now, there's been a lot of engineering in this process from front to rear, of course, this being the Speedway version. This Speedway front wing has been recontoured and swept back, but it has enough adjustment for all Speedway venues. But you may not have to rely on the front wing as much, because underneath the car, the dome skid has been removed. That lowers it by 3 eighths of an inch, and the domes are replaced now by lateral domes on the outside edge of the underwing. The combination of those two adds 6% to the underfloor downforce. From a safety standpoint, huge improvement here in side impact and this crushable structure. The radiator's been repositioned and this now has bulkheads built into it that makes a completely crushable structure protecting the driver 8 to 10 inches wider than it was before. Now the specifics of this side protection and also that lateral dome, that'll be subjects of future videos, so stay tuned. With the repositioning of this radiator, it allows you to change the airflow through what's known as the Coke channel. That's because of the Coke bottle shape of the car. This air that's run through this channel goes over the top of the underwing, energizes the underwing, and makes more downforce, again, leading to better racing. Now, this may not be quite as lean necessarily as the rest of the car, but this tire ramp has a specific purpose. The target for this car was 230 miles an hour for a qualifying speed for the Indy 500. This directs the air and takes the drag away from this turbulent rear tire. Now the engine cover, of course, adds to that low, sleek look of the car, and gone is the air inlet above the driver. Now the air is fed to the engine on the inside edge of the side pod. Coming around to the back of the car, it's more about what's missing than what's here, because gone is the beam wing and wheel pods. Now the combination of those two weighed 35 physical pounds. Now by removing that, the car is now lighter, but it moves the weight distribution forward, making the car more responsive. This rear wing is low and it's minimal. And the idea is this will be the same Speedway wing for all Speedway venues. If you need more downforce, that'll be accomplished by adding downforce to the underwing. Because the wheel pods and these side winglets are gone, now the turbulence or the weight coming off this car is significantly more narrow than previous generations, meaning that you can race closer together. And from a team standpoint, there's some good news as well. Because now, this has been distributed, research, development, and manufacturing across the whole field and not divided by manufacturer, this can be up to a 40% savings to the teams. And although we talk about this being more aggressive and leaner, a Nielsen analysis actually showed that there's more usable sponsorship space on this car than on its predecessor. Oh.